Hey Flosstube, Betsy Klager here for episode 7. Can you believe it? I can. <laughs> it's Thursday, May 27, 2021. It is the Thursday before Memorial Day weekend. And it's not just a three-day weekend for me because we're going on vacation. Laguna Beach on Saturday. So it's a whirlwind of activity at Klager Central. Um, I wanted to get a floss tube up, but I don't think I'm going to get it up before I go on vacation. That's what she said. That was for you, Darcy. Darcy Cameron. Get your mind out of the gutter. So I'm trying to record something before I leave because I wanted to show you all my haul and what I've been working on. And then when I'm on vacation in Laguna, I can record what I'm working on and my plans and, and all of that, if that makes any sense. Plus, you might get to meet my daughter-in-law because we're going with our son and daughter-in-law and uh, we're getting a, an oceanfront condo. And she loves my floss tube and she said she would be glad to make a cameo. My son, not so much, but we'll get him on camera. Um, anyway, so I didn't want to take all of my haul to California, if that makes any sense. So I wanted to get that recorded and then somehow this will all be edited in. There is also some footage of Hamilton for you, Nicola, who is Bumble Stitches. She loves Hamilton. And Darcy, you just showed out off your cat who was in trouble with the police, apparently. Um, so... Of course, I have to show Hamilton. So let's go into haul because it's quite a bit. <laughs> I have my haul. Well, it's not just my haul. It's my floss tube bag. But it's going to Laguna with me. And this is a bag by Jasmine Ravenclaw. You all know her, you love her. She's Canadian. She speaks French. She's awesome. She made me my Hamilton bag. This is the everyday tote, not the extra large, just the regular one, because I'm a regular gal. But I keep, when I get stuff, I put it in here. When I finish things, I put it in here for the two weeks, um, you know, between floss tubes. Although this episode is almost three weeks after my last one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, and then that way, I know this is what I'm gonna show everybody in my next episode. Aren't I organized? So, in no particular order, although I am gonna show you something that I failed to show in my last episode, which was haul that I misplayed. I, I didn't follow my own rule. I didn't put it in the in the Hamilton bag, so it I didn't show it to you as my haul. But I did get this from Fat Quarter Shop. The flea market flowers and the uh, the floss. Okay, so um, that was really haul for last time, but I'm showing it to you now. Another issue I have is trying to decide what to bring on vacation. And I may discuss that with you here, and then you'll get to see what I actually did bring on vacation, because clothes is easy, but the stitching projects, what to bring. Okay, so that's haul number one, and I'm not gonna count them all. But I'm very excited to start that. Um, <laughs> this is so cute. This is from, these are fun stickers all the way from Portugal. Portugal. That's a place I want to go. Is that not the cutest? It says take a nap, which I will be doing on my vacation. Beach vacation, naps, yeah. And Tuxedo Cat stickers that the artist hand draws. They're amazing. Let me just show them to you. Um, here, I'll, I'll hold up her card. Her name is Daniela Silva. So you can get her information there. It came pretty fast from Portugal. Um, and they're so precious, I don't want to use them, you know? <laughs> uh, a 
Of course, they're tuxedo cats. Wait, what are... Ah. See, cat nap. Edit. Oh. I think I'll put them in my book of days because that will be a permanent record. Oh. 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 They're such good quality. They're on paper. They're not glossy but they're really sturdy stickers. I couldn't tell you how much they were, but they weren't exorbitant. And I mean, you know, cat stickers. She has all kinds of varieties of cat stickers, but of course, you know, you know the one I'm gonna get. So I got those little treats, little fun things. I'm taking the time to put everything away because we're going on vacation and everything's a mess. Do you ever get really, really stressed out before you leave town? And I don't know. I'm looking forward to going. That So it's, I'm not in a bad mood about it. I'm in a great mood. But I'm like, oh, do I got to do this? I got to do that. And it's like, why am I complaining? It's stupid to complain. I'm going on a flipping vacation. How lucky am I? And I've been vaccinated. Still gonna wear a mask on the airplane. Okay, this is Laura Duet's fault. I got this chart from Traditional Stitches, Mary Bloom from the Scarlet House. Isn't that darling? And I ordered the fabric and the floss. I'll take it out of the bag to show ya. The fabric is straw, one of my favorites from uh, Weeks Dye Works. And then here are the flosses. Oh, oh, look how they pack them like that. I know. I really want to take this to start. I don't know. I can't decide what to take. Oh, decisions, decisions. So that is, that came about a week ago um, from Traditional Stitches. Put all that together. It'll go in a special place. And I am also a member of the r, r Reproduction Fabrics Fabric of the Month through Traditional Stitches. I just about died when I saw this color. Because I get neutrals, you know, r, &R Reproductions. You get neutrals, right? Right? This is 40 count Lucky Penny. Wait till you see this. Wait, just wait until you see this. Ready? Oh. Oh. Is that, it's, it's showing a little pale here. Yeah, that's more true. That is more true to color. A little more saturated in real life. Doesn't really go with the wall. <laughs> oh, yes, I should talk about what's on the wall. I think I've shown this before, but this and this, I'll talk about in another episode because really I'm totally frazzled to get stuff done to get out of town. So this is strictly a haul video, not what's on my wall video. Okay, can you, can you deal with that? I think you can. I think you can, and I think you will. Okay, so that's my fabric of the month. What did I do with Mary Bloom? Oh, she's over there. Gotta keep everything organized. Then I got these from Fat Quarter Shop. These are Lori Holt's label packs. Um, what prompted this order was I took um, Mary Clayton in to get um, framed uh, along with the cat sampler. Remember the, the cat sampler from my first episode where I, I challenged you all to make me finish it and you did? I took them to the framer and so I thought, oh, I'll have these labels to put on the back, what they are and what, what I used for them. I got two of them. So the other one looks exactly like this. Okay. This is Nikki Noodle's fault because she's turned me on to GGR. 
and I was on one, two, three stitch one day, as you as you do. I couldn't resist this. It's called the big cat sam oop, the big cat sampler. Look at that. I want to bring this on my vacation. That's gonna be Hamilton. I did not order fabric specifically for this, but I will um, go through my stash if I have time. See, that's the thing. I, I'll take it if I can find fabric in my stash, or I may just bring a whole bunch of stash and go through it there. I don't, that's how my mind's working right now. But of course, I ordered the flosses to go with this because, you know, you gotta, you gotta. The chamomile, Apparently was on back order, so this came separately, but it was quick. One, two, three stitch, I think has been quicker recently since, um, you know, back when the pandemic started, they were slow like everybody else. But I think they're, I don't know if they're back to where, where they were before, but I got this pretty quickly. <laughs> when you think of it, it's so funny. Why do we need it quickly? Like, don't I have a million other things I could be working on? Anyway, here are the colors. Oh, I just think they're beautiful. Now, of course, the cat color um, is going to be, you know, black and white. So I'll have to pull. Um, I have lots of that. I might do her in silk, black and white silk. Because she's a princess. She deserves silk. Oh, I love that. Okay, this is Nikki Noodle's fault, but she, oh, you know what? This is Stitchy Kindness. Hold on, I'm gonna, because I have another Stitchy Kindness. So I'm gonna wait just one second. We're gonna wait and do Stitchy Kindness in a minute. And now you know one of them is from Nikki because she's so kind. Um, then I've got some, three seven 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 because i sent a message to jacob of modern folk embroidery and i said jacob what's that red that you said is your favorite your dmc for uh, red samplers and he texted back and he said figure out your own damn red <laughs> but then he told me and this is going to be for the Bristol Orphanage sampler that I'm doing on my Seraphim Bee's Knees. This is going on vacation because it's a stitch along or a start along, as I should say. Um, Nikki Noodles and I are doing it June 1. Anybody who wants to join, please do. It's just going to be a red sampler start along. So it doesn't have to be Bristol Orphanage. Um, but you will see this. I will video this uh start when I'm in Laguna. So you will get to see it, the chart again. I showed it in my last video because Nikki sent me the chart. Um, and of course the bee's knees, you all saw. Well, if you didn't see it, I encourage you to go watch. I don't, I'll, I don't remember what episode it was. So you gotta watch all of them. Okay, this is going on vacation. Um, I belong to the NPI Silk of the Month Club from Fat Quarter Shop, and this just came yesterday. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh, they look stunning next to my wall. <laughs> oh, I have to organize all my silks because I am a silk enthusiast. Oh, they're lovely. This club is great. I love the NPI Silk Club. Uh, you get quite a nice selection of NPIs. Um, and this is for Modern Folk Embroidery's new chart. Oh gosh. I'm gonna stick this in somewhere. This is the Rule of Life chart that I was talking about <laughs> that the Leo and Roxy flosses go for. 
I couldn't think of the name. I was having a brain fart. So I need to match some fabric up. Um, I don't think I'll have time before I leave, so I'll probably not take this. I think I've narrowed it down to three or four projects I'm gonna take. Only one new start, which is the Bristol Orphanage sampler. Um, did we come up with a hashtag for that, Nikki? I don't know. You'll have to leave a comment or let me know. We'll have to post it somewhere because I know you forgot to say it in your last floss too. Okay, bye. With it. I'm gonna put it on the screen if I can figure, I think I know how to edit it to put the name of the chart. It's the chart where 50% of the proceeds are going to India to help with their COVID crisis there. Um, it's a fundraiser that Jacob is doing. Um, I don't know if you all know this, but Jacob's husband is Indian and has quite a few relatives in India. So it's obviously a cause that's near and dear to, to Jacob and his husband. Um, and I got the floss pack from Caroline off the Grid Needle Arts. But her the name of her shop is evertote.com. And these came. So I'm gonna take these and the chart on vacation to start. But I can't take all of this. I'm only gone for a week. Aren't they beautiful? All the way from Canada. Mm. Beautiful. So that, uh, I don't think I'm gonna wind up taking this on vacation. Um, because I'm going to have the Bristol Orphanage sampler to start, and I think that's probably the only start that I want to take with me. I'm going to be disciplined. One more before we get to Stitchy Kindness. And this is Seraphim Fabrics 40 Count Old Stationery Linen. I got this from um, Hobby House Needleworks, and I waited to open it, like I did these knees. Ooh, ooh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, this, you know what, the, the big cat sampler. Let's get the floss. Let's, let's see how it looks, and tell me what you all think. Brenda, are you watching? Mwah! My hugs and thoughts are going out to Brenda as she is facing some challenges um, that we are all doing the uh, For the Love of Brenda stitch along, hashtag For the Love of Brenda, because we're all giving her virtual hugs and kisses through the interwebs um, as she faces these health challenges that we know she's going to um, she's going to win and she is going to come out on the other side stronger and better and she's going to feel great. I just know it. Our Brenda's going to be fine, um, especially with the support from all of us. Okay, so Brenda, if you're watching, what do you think? This is Old Stationary Linen by Seraphim. So if you have it, you'll you know what it looks like. What do you think? It's got a little bit of a pinkish hue to it. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a contender. Okay. Oops, fuzzball. All right, so that's it for, for haul. Um, and I'm gonna be right back with my stitchy kindness. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so last, was it two videos ago? Um, I was showing, or maybe it was last one, I was showing this, Home Sweet Home from um, Fat Quarter Shop. Um, Lori Holt designed it, it's so Emma. Um, I wanted to stitch this because Denise is stitching it. And um, I got the, the flosses for it and I was saying oh I just need to get the fabric because they were out of it at Fat Quarter Shop it was on back order 
and this lovely person, fellow Stitcher, I don't have, I didn't ask her if I could share her name, so I'm just going to use her first name, but you know who you are reached out to me and said she has the fabric and she had extra and could she send it to me? Was that not sweet? Thank you, Peg. Mm -hmm. Stitch, stitchers are so nice. So she sent me 14 count aqua blue Ada. Now this is a contender for vacation going, you know, cause I don't need the whole headgear. Oh my goodness, wait. <gasps> My daughter-in-law and son have not seen my headgear. Am I going to have to hide in a closet? <sighs> anyway, isn't that sweet of her? I so appreciate it. Oh. So, thank you, Peg. That really means a lot to me. And I have it in a pink flamingo project bag that I made. I'm getting better at these. I'm obsessed with them. Um, the direction of the flamingos is off, so I've paid more attention to directional fabric. Uh, but I think it's fun. And it, I don't know, I have fun making them. It's a nice break from shitting on my butt on the couch and stitching. Because really, that's all I do. So I stand at a table and cut fabric and then sit at my sewing machine. Fiona, Fiona, which is right behind me, by the way. Take a look there. Oh, who is that? Or I should say, what is that? Because it's an inanimate object, whatever. Okay, so the person who made me name my machine is the person who so kindly gifted me this chart. She made this, I think she made it into a drum, Nikki. Leave in the comments what, if it was a drum or a pillow. I can't remember. I'm going to make it into a pillow. But I was commenting on it and she said Ellen Reed also stitched it. I said, oh, that's so cute. And she said... It's yours, so she sent this to me. It's called Spotted Pig's Pin Keep by Stacy Nash. It's adorable. I love it, little piglets. So that's it for haul and stitchy kindness. Um, now let me show you what I've been working on the last two and a half weeks because I may or may not be bringing these projects on my trip. So I'll show them to you now so they will be part of my episode. <sighs> if that makes sense. Let's get my book of days that I have updated with stickers. Stickers from my, what is it? The sticker book, Antiquaria. <laughs> There's a kangaroo for my Aussie friends. Nikki and Kathy. Okay, enough of that. Um, so I recorded my floss tube on May 8th. So what have I been stitching since then? Whale, Fruit of Plenty by Modern Folk Embroidery. As I talk into the ground, can you hear me? Modern Folk Embroidery, Stitch Along 2021. It's in my Nikki bag. Koala, Kangaroo, Wombat. And this is like an enchilada, I think. Or is this the enchilada? No, no, this is the porcupine looking thing is Encinita or something. Nikki's gonna be so mad at me. I have memory issues, Nikki. Okay, so here's what it looks like for those of you who've been living under a rock. <laughs> and this was my third attempt, so I'm woefully behind, blah, blah, blah. Let me show you my colors. It is DMC 3750 is the blue, and the yellow is 833. And this was 
one of those projects that I didn't want to put down. I'm almost finished with January. Hi, Scott. Do you want to say hi? I can edit it out if you don't want to be on. I'm just showing my works that I've done since the last floss tube and my haul. Come here. Come here. We're going to record you in Laguna. Ah! Isn't he cute? Hi, Scott. Say hi to floss tube. Hi, floss tube. Okay. I'm almost I'm going to go make dinner. <laughs> What's for dinner? Is Hamilton allowed in? Is she? No, she's she allowed in. She was oh. actually, I had her in here and she objected. There she is. Hi, Hammy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. You'll see more Until of Scott. Until next time. You'll see more of Scott in Laguna Beach. Okay, so I worked on um, Fruit of Plenty on May 8th, May 9th, May 10th, May 11th, May 12th, and May... 13. I told you I couldn't put it down. So I'm almost finished January. And I may take this with me. I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to take like 10 projects. All right. Then um, I actually stopped stitching that on. I stitched some on May 13th, but then I picked up another project because it was a start along. The Joan Sands Mania Sal that started on May 14, but I started May 13, with Nikki Noodle, Laura Duet, Caroline from Off the Grid, Kathy from Australia. She doesn't have a floss tube. Um, Jody Trixie Tricycle. And Gwyneth, who also doesn't have a floss tube. Gwyneth and Kathy are hangers on. Gwyneth is curls and cross stitches. She's a curler, not a hair curler, like a sweep curler. Um, anyway, we all started this and we had a fun Zoom meetup. It was, it was loads of fun. Um, and Joan Sands is also by Modern Folk Embroidery. So this was pretty much, uh, oh gosh, up until the 16th of May. This was pretty much a modern folk embroidery month. <laughs> but I think I said that in my last ep episode. And this is kept in a Nikki Noodles bag that she made for me. This is definitely going to California. Because I stitched on this for three days. What did I put? Oh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out measurements. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. I told you the DMC floss. Um, the fabric for modern folk embroidery is... Um, I can't find it. But it's definitely 40 count. And I think it's just as Weigart um, platinum. Maybe. I'm sorry. I really am <laughs> discombobulated. All right, I already showed you that, but take a look again. <laughs> okay. Um, the flosses, the flosses are all here. They're all a mess. Okay, little story. When I was little, my sister Jenny and I were 15 months apart, and my mother always made us have pixie haircuts, you know, little short haircuts. For those of you too young to remember, that's what they were called, short hair. They're really short, close to your head. Um, they were called pixie cuts, and she just thought Jenny and I should have pixie haircuts. And we were always so jealous of our friends uh, who had long hair. So we would get yarn and make these yarn wigs, it was really just yarn and throw it over our head and we'd go like, you just want your hair to wiggle. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Jenny watches these. I've told her about them, but 
Jenny, if you're watching, I just want my hair to wiggle. <laughs> All right. Knock it off. Knock it off, girl. And this is the progress I have made on Joan Sands. And this, I will be able to tell you the fabric, I hope. Uh, no, it's not marked on here, but it's 40 count. And here's a needle minder from Nikki. It's the Nikki Present Show. So I definitely want to bring this to Laguna. Um, because I think in the beginning, I think once a month we want to try and work on it for a couple of days. Um, and then the goal is on New Year's 20, well, December 31, 2021, to put the date in it. Our last stitch in our date is the goal. So we'll see how that goes. Um, did I find the fabric tag? Oh, I did. I did. This is Summer Car Key by Zweiger. For those of you who uh, don't speak Australian, it's khaki. Summer khaki. But Nikki and Kathy can't say that. They can only say car key. What do I know? All right. So I worked on that. Now, the third project I worked on, so I basically worked on three projects since I uh, saw you. Um, Hamilton scratching at the door. Hold on. Okay, I don't know where I cut off. But the third project that I worked on obsessively because, oh, here she comes, flying Hamilton. She has been, <laughs> seriously, she has been following Scott around all day. I had to go down to the courthouse to work out technological issues for my trial coming up when I get back from vacation. So I wasn't home most of the day, and Scott said she kept following him and getting underfoot, and uh, I think, okay, we haven't taken any suitcases out, but I think she knows we're going away. Because she's very smart. She got very smart kitty cat. And she knows. She knows something's going on, and she doesn't want her daddy to go. She doesn't care about mommy. Are you done? Okay. All right, get down. <sighs> so this project I've worked on obsessively, and let me recommend it as... A really good project for when you're stressed about things, like an anxious about things that need to get done. Cat hair. Um, like I said, I'm going on vacation. Well, I keep saying that because I need it. We need it. Uh, but when I get back, I have a trial that's a, like a four or five day trial. Pretty big deal. Plus, I have to get all my other work done. So the last two weeks, I have not felt like working on color changes or really intricate um, things that I have to think about stitch-wise. I've been making project bags, that's a good stress reliever, but as far as stitching goes, I just need something that is going to get me calm. This is the perfect project for it, and I will tell you how many days I'm working on it, and I intend to finish it soon. <laughs> Uh, so this is a really big wind-up, right? What the hell project am I talking about? I've worked on it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days. And I'm going to work on it tonight. It is Gather Here. And I knew it would be this kind of zen project. It's one color. It's silk. Hello, Silk. And it's the, it's the kind of thing that, okay, you might be off a stitch or two, but it doesn't matter because, so the leaf is a little smaller or it doesn't, it's a different, it's two stitches away from this leaf, not one. It, things like that, it doesn't matter to the whole design. Does that make sense? You don't have to rip out if you are off one stitch. Um, 
Not that I'm off by any stitches. I'm not saying anything. And it's beautiful. So I am using 40, this is 40 count platinum by Zweigert. And I'm using the called for, um, the called for thread gatherer silken color smokestack. It's in the Q-snap because I've been compulsively stitching it. <laughs> Ta-da! Actually, you know what? I have to take it out so you can see it. But first, look at this little koala from Nikki. It's a, a mommy or a daddy and a baby. And they're not bears, by the way. When I was growing up, they called them koala bears. Go figure. We were so misled. I was told the planet... Uranus was Uranus. <laughs> Look at this. I love this. Oh my, it's wrinkled. Ah! Sue me, floss to police. That's funny. Ha ha ha. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just going to town on it. It has been such a soothing, calming stitch for me. I know I've said that a bunch of times, but there have been days when I get home, super busy day, and I just want to sit. But I, I pick this up, and once I get going, I'm going. So for those of you going through any kind of anxious period or, heck, even if you're not, and you just want to stitch something pretty, I highly recommend it. I mean, I just can't believe the progress I've made on it just because I've been compulsively stitching it. So this is gonna go with me because I wanna finish it. I wanna have a finish. So that's all I've been working on. And um, my plans are, like I said, I don't know what to take. I'm taking this. I'm taking Joan Sands. I'm taking the Bristol Orphanage sampler to start on June 1. I really want to take the Dutch sampler that um, from Kathy Barrick that I started, and I haven't worked on that in a long time. And it's the, it's, the fabric is kind of dark, and it's hard for me to stitch it at night, so it's a perfect daytime sit outside at the beach under an umbrella kind of stitch. So I'm leaning towards that. But you will see when I get to Laguna Beach what I'm working on. And now that I think about it, I probably can cobble together an entire episode on what I've recorded. I intended just to show you my haul and what I've been working on. Um, but I think I'm going to post this. Uh, I'm going to cobble it together because it has Hamilton in it. You even got to meet Scott. And um, yeah, and I'll, I'll do... A vlog from Laguna Beach so you can all see um, where I'm vacationing because who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> By the way, Darcy it is stalking me. Every time I go on to someone's live, he's there. He leaves other lives to join where I am. So if he shows up in Laguna Beach, I'm going to vlog it. And it's going to be my evidence that he's a stalker. The police already know where he lives because they've been to his house about his cat, who apparently is some kind of outlaw. I don't know what that's about. I told you I was all over the place. I'm going to insert this somewhere. I showed you one of my project bags that I made. And I've been going to town, thanks to Liz. I've been making project bags. I think I've made... 14 so far, and I've got, no, 13 so far, and I've got three more that are ready just to get so stitched, sewn. I was going to say sewed. Sewed up! <laughs> this is when I got this fabric at Joanne Fat Quarter. They had a, a good sale on Fat Quarters. It's a banana and another banana. Look, I'm getting better. I mean, they're still a little... Gonna, you know what? I'm not going to point out what's wrong with my bags. They're functional. 
and so fun and so easy. Really the hard part is just make cutting. Actually, there is no hard part. Time consuming is cutting out the pieces. Um, the vinyl is a pain to roll out and cut, but it's really not hard to sew with because you're putting it in the um, fabric sleeve. So you, the machine, the the presser foot and the feed dogs don't even touch the, the vinyl. So I don't find any problem sewing with it. And I prefer the vinyl front so I can see what's inside. Now this is flamingo fabric that you saw before, but I actually did it correctly. And the flamingos are not sideways. And pink fabric. See, the zipper works and everything. When I have time, I might go back and put little charms for zipper pulls. I don't know if I showed this last time, but look at this fabric. Oh, I still have more of this left. I think it's black, blackbird fabric. Um, and I just, I think this is beautiful. So I made that one. Um, here's some French. You got there the Eiffel Tower. You got the uh, Eau de Cologne. You got it all. Ooh. I've been to Paris once. Ooh. We did it on our Great Britain trip. The great UK trip of 2018. Uh, this is, I don't know what this writing is, but I made sure I did the directional correctly. That's the biggest problem I had in the beginning was I wasn't really paying attention to that. Like, here's the flamingo sideways. Sideways flamingos. They're like floating by. I still don't feel confident to give them as gifts or like as a giveaway. I think I have to make a few more to make them a little bit better for my quality control. Now here's some other French fabric. I got this in... Oh gosh, I was on a business trip in Florida and there's this really cute cross stitch slash fabric store near, it was in Orlando. I don't remember the name of it, but isn't that cute? I bought a bunch of that fabric. I don't know what I was thinking I was gonna make with it at the time. I was just like, oh, that's pretty. And then this is from a Fat Quarter set that I got from Fat Quarter Shop. I don't know the name of it, but if you send me a message, I'll look it up and let you know. Isn't that pretty? The zipper almost matches exactly. And here is one more. I've got a project in it, so. Oh, this is, yeah, so this is another example. It's upside down. <laughs> the, the French Paris. But I've got more of this, so I'm gonna make one right side up like the other one. The other one had it as the lining, but I like it as the outside. Um, and then this is from the same Fat Quarter pack from Fat Quarter Shop. So I've been making uh, project bags. I was gonna say, I've been making fabric bags. I'm hungry. I'm glad Scott's making dinner. All right, so I'm going to insert that somewhere because I forgot to add it. Um, so I'm not going to say goodbye because there's going to be more video for you to see. <laughs> the program. Say hi. Hi, Hamilton. She was talking a lot before. Um, Hamilton has a confession to make. Do you want to, do you want to tell the nice folks in Floss Tube Land or should Mommy? Fess up. Hamilton escaped. Yes, you did. You did. She didn't go very far. My hus a couple days ago, my husband went out for a jog, shut the front door, or so he thought. It was a really windy day. I was in the shower. He ran upstairs after I had gotten in the shower. Okay, excuse me. I'll finish this story after I put her down. She is getting very upset. Say bye. Um, after I'd been in the shower for just a little while, my husband had gone jogging 45 minutes before, but I hear him yell, Patsy, Patsy, where's Hamilton? I turn off the shower. I had just gotten in. 
Uh, he said, the front door blew open. I can't find Hamilton. <laughs> Turn off the shower, towel off a little bit, throw on my t-shirt, my shorts, run outside with the cat treats with Scott. And um, we found little Miss Hamilton hiding in the bush in our front yard. <laughs> she looked petrified. Nobody made her go out there, but when the door blew open when I was in the shower, she thought she had to go and see what was going on. She scared the you-know-what out of herself. Um, <laughs> my heart was in my throat for a little bit, but she's fine. I don't think she'll be going outside out front anytime soon. She loves to go outside in her tent, and I will show pictures of her in her tent um, probably at the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this and um, yeah it's um, kind of all cobbled together I don't know how I'm gonna edit it but we'll see what happens we'll see what comes out and see if it's something that's actually viewable <laughs> um, thank you so much for wa watching and if you um, are new welcome go back and watch my first video just to get to know me um, and if you watch and you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I post um, a new episode or a video of me singing to Hamilton or 